The United States will send a new package of military aid to Ukraine worth $400 million. The Pentagon chief Lloyd Austin said on October 31st that the aid package would be announced in the coming days. Speaking at a press conference alongside U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken and their South Korean counterparts, Austin said that the aid package would include artillery, air defense, armored vehicles, ammunition, and other critical weapons. In particular, the aid package includes armored personnel carrier M113 ammunition to HIMARS multiple launch rocket system, 155mm and 105mm artillery shells, 60mm, 81mm and 120mm mortar systems and shells, Javelin anti-tank guided missile and AT-4 satellite communications equipment, ammunition, as well as logistics support. The new aid package also includes 211 striker fighting vehicles. The latest U.S. aid package to Ukraine was announced by Lloyd Austin on October 21. Earlier, President President Volodymyr Zelensky said the U.S. was preparing an additional $800 million package earmarked for drone production in Ukraine. The new U.S. military aid to Ukraine comes amid Russia's advances in eastern Donetsk region and Kremlin's claims about the capture of a number of villages and settlements in the region. It should be noted that Washington is the largest provider of military aid to Ukraine, with Washington supplying $64 billion in military assistance since Russia launched its full-scale invasion in February 2022. A Ukrainian drone fell on the territory of an oil depot in the town of Svetlograd in Russia's Stavropol Krai overnight on November 1, Governor Vladimir Vladimirov has claimed. Russian telegram channels posted a video showing a drone exploding at the oil depot in Svetlograd. The town of Svetlograd has around 35,000 residents and lies over 1,000 kilometers southeast of Ukraine's border in Donetsk region. No casualties or damage have been reported. Emergency services were at the scene, Vladimirov said. According to Russia's defense ministry, Russian air defenses overnight shot down 36 drones over Kursk region, 20 over Bryansk region, 12 over occupied Crimea Peninsula, 8 over Voronezh region, 4 over Oryol region, and 3 over Belgorod region. Alexander Bogomaz, Bryansk Oblast governor, claimed that a drone hit an apartment building in the city of Bryansk overnight, injuring one person. He added that emergency services are working at the scene. In total, according to local authorities, over the past evening and night, four drones were shot down over the Bryansk region. According to the Ministry of Defense, 71 drones were shot down over Russian territory over the past evening and night, in the Kursk, Bryansk, Voronezh, Oryol and Belgorod regions. Ukraine, 
stepped up drone strikes on Russian energy facilities since the start of the year, describing these attacks as retaliation for attacks on its energy infrastructure. The Russian military command wants to form assault units with convicts suffering from hepatitis B and C. They will be sent for meat assaults in Ukraine, according to Ukrainian Defense Intelligence. According to intelligence sources, the Russian Ministry of Defense issued Order No. 610, dated October 10, 2024. This order removes hepatitis C from the list of diseases that disqualify individuals from military service. The Russians did this to fill units with sick convicts. Those infected with hepatitis are marked in the document as contingent C. It is noted that before being sent to the front, the sick prisoners in colonies must formally receive the hepatitis B vaccine and undergo antiviral therapy for hepatitis C. According to estimates by Russian leaders, their new mobilization decision will allow them to involve thousands of convicts in meat assaults in the war against Ukraine, the intelligence writes. According to Ukrainian intelligence, there are about 10,000 hepatitis patients in prisons and detention centers in the so-called Central Military District of the Russian Armed Forces. Of these, about 15% have agreed to fight voluntarily. The first four assault companies and two reserve companies made up of sick convicts are being formed in the 1,435th and 1,437th motorized rifle regiments. The newly formed Russian assault companies B to C, named after the hepatitis types, are planned to be stationed in the temporarily occupied territories of the Luhansk and Donetsk regions. Russia began actively sending convicts to fight against Ukraine in 2022. Initially, this recruitment was carried out by the Wagner private military company and later by the Russian Ministry of Defense. Previously, prisoners were promised pardons, but now only conditional releases are offered and the term of service has increased to the end of the special military operation. In October 2023, Russia recorded a drastic decline in the number of prisoners, which is attributed to their deployment in the war. Moreover, it was recently reported that the convicts recruited by the Russian Ministry of Defense are dying at the front, two months after being sent to the front line.